Okay, so I'm going under, you just ask. Uh, just back, sorry for the dog before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have a very, uh, a part that many people love, uh, is you going and connect with the, uh, you know, the, the part of the queen. Uh, as you guys know, I live in, in England. Today is a very, very important day for the for Britain, for Great Britain, because they're mourning the queen after 70 years of her reign. Okay. Um, so now, Oksana, you're going to connect with the queen, and uh, she will be uh, full of uh, Mr. Gorbachev in the sofa of the universe, and they are going to ask both questions, but at the moment, um, she is the our, obviously, star today of our interview and when you're ready take a long deep breathing and just connect I'm, with the queen i'm ready when you said the word queen i already saw um you know those um no felinoids in uh in blue suits they have this um big pockets on top on both sides is it looks like a zipper but it's not a zipper in the middle they have a particular sign with a triangle on it was a snake you know like the medical sign was a snake on the stick like that no it's not like that it's two snakes looking at each other without the stick two snakes looking at each other on the triangle mm -hmm. like this and they're chasing after the unicorns, the white unicorns. They look like horses, but they have a horn. Horn. They're beautiful. They're like white, white, but they glitter rainbow colors. And it's the it's the territory of England long time ago. 0 0.080. I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, th I think they um, they running after them and if I fast forward, I see a big portal opening and unicorns disappearing and the lions taking over. Okay. The uh, so, felinoids. So can you check when she just left the, the body, what happened to her? What she was, I mean, she was aware or she was, I mean, in a, in a she was straight away, she knew it, she was prepared or she's just, uh, she was confused and she is waiting. She's still here or she's just, is already gone from her, uh, bed, you know, from her family, from her, uh, because that will be a massive uh, funeral with all the honors. She's walking she, through some, through some uh, very tall ceiling uh, room. Okay. Inside. It's kind of, I see it as golden and blue colors everywhere. Is she aware? Is it she looks confused or she's aware she, where she is? She's uh, actually, she, she's sad. She looked at me for a second. Her eyes are really like um, snake eyes, you know. Mm -hmm. And she looked at me. She knew she was prepared. She knew she was going. Okay. Her reign is over. Her re my reign is over. That's what she told me. Okay. Um, tell her if she if she want to talk with us, we can give her a bit of strange, a bit of to talk with us to make understand why she had that duty and what she think about um, uh, her son uh, Charles. That will go in now is the king, and you know, what's going to happen now with, the, with this monarchy? Uh, it will going to be a good king, or it will be very brief uh, reign. There was a contract for her to live this much, to give it to him. I see him changing into some kind of dragon with some scales with the big wings on the back i uh i don't want to get too close to them because mm -hmm. it gives me kind of some sort of nausea feeling i think because they're low vibrational um mm -hmm. there's a big difference between me and them they look very thin it's like i see a contour of a body and i see like a energy like a tiny little energy wave inside the body uh, of each of them. And it looks kind of like a black snake inside. 
each of them. Okay, now you got that you have the protection now. Yeah, you have you are completely protected. You know that because they have capable. strange genetic material. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of reptilian infused in there. It uh, they still they have some genes from those felinoids also. Uh, it's like there are. There are two types of lines of genes in the royal family. There's one related more to philanoids who pushed the beautiful unicorns out and started building castles on the territory of England. And there are the reptilians, but I see them as a, as a very tall, muscular reptilian who came by ships and try to push the lions out the felinoids but there's something that they couldn't do there to push them out so they they i see them shaking hands and what comes to me is information they um subliminal have the subliminal talk and they agreed on something sharing the land and flipping the genetics back and forth there are some people that they own they are in um, that are more uh, like related to lions. Uh, the genetics of phil gen genetics of philanoid kind of, and philanoids with time started really hating the reptilian part of England. It's be England became dualistic. That's what I feel. I but the the lion. Boris jo Johnson is like I see him with the lion head right now. Yeah, and we have th the the three lions in the the flag in the standards. Um, so I was checking as well with the uh, pendulum, definitely phenyloids uh, that are. Would I? Is possible that is a lion or is is doesn't matter. It's like the deal is the reptilians are gonna be in charge. But the lion's going to be right under them. And because there's certain division of labor type thing. And there's, um, how do you call it in English? If, if reptilians pressure felinoids, felinoids have something against reptilians. And that's why they don't. And that's why... There's also a certain amount, and there's always struggle. So in this dualistic uh, kind of situation, philanoids are a good, good group, and reptilians are a negative group. That's what mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, it looks like they are uh, fighting for the ground, I mean, for the territory. Um... Queen was losing it energetically. She, she lost her grip on um, everything. Plus, and that's why the contract uh, was active because she could cancel the contract anytime and live longer. But she decided to go because she can be uh, her genetics can be fixed. She can get a new body in the same royal family and you know come as a baby again, type thing. So something <laughs> like this. I mean, he, he they need more masculine energy, and that's why him to control everything right now so what uh, what will be the uh, ask her now directly if she's uh, <laughs> if she trusts her son as a legacy <laughs> she said me an egg of a snake and she sees an the egg opens she shows us a hologram for me to understand like a metaphor and the one snake comes out becomes old young snakes come out and then they go in this motion like you know that sign the snake bites its own it's kind of like that it's a motion snakes always reincarnate in the same family and over the same souls they are they are more genetically modified though because they're under experiment of their own people basically they're always mutating 
Mm -hmm. I notice every time we we say the word the queen uh, or king, uh, uh, we have uh, some frozen moments and the interruption of the video. This is how it works, guys, because now is a uh, very polluted internet, okay? And, uh, and now these new words are uh, basically in the system. Uh, if you speak against VAD, there will be a uh, frozen moment. I want to just point to this for people that uh, probably will complain about the quality, okay? But if you notice even our previous video, every time we mention something that we shouldn't, the, the quality of the, the recording changed quickly. So this is how it works, guys. So, um, I feel is... the lions support the lions. I see a big golden lion above Ukraine. That's why Great Britain will always support Ukraine because the lions support their own species. The more ancient philanoid species lived in Ukraine also. And I see a flag with a lion on Ukrainian army too. Uh, we know that in esoteric, uh, uh, even when they are less bad, they always have, they, obviously they are all uh, colonies uh, in a good way or bad way. But so uh, what is the next, uh, what, what the queen uh, um, thinks going to happen? Is, is Charles will going to uh, interact with this war or it just will be a figure, it will be weak? Because we know Charles is, is, he was just a son, which was the latest, uh, uh, what can I say, um, king, uh, um, you know, when, when you are a successor, yeah, usually you are young, you are a kid, you are in your 20s, in your 30s, but this guy is, I think he's in his 70s now already. And he's the latest Reptilians successor. Reptilians are the ones create the matters because they know that their days are coming and soon. That's what she told me telepathically. Mm -hmm. And therefore, figures present on Earth will be just figures like, like Americans. They're not going to really mean a lot, but they're going to like carry on for people, but it's going to be all fake. They don't have the rights anymore. There's something about the contract as a collective. They signed that they have to be out. Plus, there's something about the uh, little percentage of people be, being for real awakened. Um, some of them don't even know that they are because they're not Meta, into metaphysics, spirituality, but they awaken themselves by understanding what the real values are. A lot of those who volunteer from different countries they see what the value of life is. It's, you know, that they kind of given away the materialistic part of their physical brain um, programming and went more into, they may still believe in religion or the existence of God, but they became more on the uh, positive vibrational range of things. Um, sometimes those are even, if we think in our terms, are better for survival of the souls in human bodies than the other ones who are just sitting around and um, meditating. You, you know, it's, it's, I see there's a lot of, it's like a storm going on right now. And I see a lot of um, spaceships flying. Uh, they just shoot kind of like frequencies at each other. And, and then the, the frequency band expands from the ships and those who are low vibration, they just kind of disappear. It's almost like they're pushed out of the bubble. You don't see them anymore. But this fight is almost over. I see maximum three, four months, maximum. Like it just popped up. I don't know what that means, uh, but um, that's what I see. 
um, phys phys it's 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 at the physical level. That's three four more months. Something at the physical level. Something's important is going to be over. Okay. Uh, I, I was checking here. Uh, we have I have three informations uh, from my charts and uh, my pendulum uh, because yes, this big change is related with the the, the queen death. I I was checking the, the the death causes and I was checking that she had a tragic death. I know that her health was not fine, but uh, I got this information and then. I saw basically the information is that a relative was waiting for her in the portal. Okay, she's still waiting, which is, I feel that is is another heir, which was in form of her grandma or, uh, you know, we can say the lineage of uh, the woman's uh, in in her family, okay, Queen Victoria, which was uh, any man energy anyway. Uh, Elizabeth Elizabeth, as a queen, uh, had a very male energy because to, to be a queen. So mm -hmm. uh, I see a definitely a relative waiting for her. I can't see because I saw, I just was checking. I saw just, uh, is in a portal, like it's no square, is round and is waiting for her, like with a, 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 a what you call, um, a mantello, a clock. Uh, a clock. clock, yeah. Yeah, and so the tragic death can be that she'll fall She's, she banged her head, but she was already weak. But the other day... She was taken out by Yeah, I, I don't contract. think she's natural like the... They told her it's time. Yeah, it's not natural. Anybody, they say, they says peaceful, but why they don't even say the cause of the death? When I have a tragic death, means that she fall. Uh, not necessarily they kill her, but she was tripped. She was tricked to... To die, you know, she was old, very weak, so she fell, she banged her head. I feel like she fell, she banged her head. I don't even, uh, I don't feel that it's true what I read from the around her. She kind of started walking away from me, mm. and uh, I'm not connected to her, so I can't really force her, but I can read the information in her around her informational field mm -hmm. it wasn't the case uh that she had to go i also got information that if you are one of the reptilians the one reptilian who is in charge up there in hierarchical letter always dictates you what to do and for how long you 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 are useful for them you don't belong to yourself you don't decide for yourself how long your life is going to be, what you're going to do. Um, basically, you know, they. she's waiting for some rituals, a ritual of the body uh, going, uh, some other rituals under the underground facility, under the castle. Mm, that's what she's waiting for, because only through rituals she can go to the portal and then they take her to the laboratory that's what okay said. do you think it's a coincidence that uh, everything i mean her death was based in scotland in uh, why scotland why was she was there no windsor not uh, buckingham palace scotland she was so is weak. a very powerful land that's where the dragons come from and that's where the uh, lion, huge, powerful families come from. And the genetic genetics of those lions were not, it was not as evil as they've become through genetic manipulation. Uh, at least some of the groups, it's kind of like they split up. They become dualistic themselves. There's, they're more positive. See, you can't really say 100% positive, 100% negative either. Mm -hmm. That's not what it is. Mm, it just always territorial problems. Mm -hmm. Territory means this many souls belong to you. This much energy belongs to you. Mm, a great Britain wants to connect to Ukraine and support because and make 
life their good in supporting because then they'll be the power together two countries mm -hmm. together will be the great grand power and their idea is to push reptilians out and not only i mean there's so many there's at least six species of reptilians that i see right now snake people nagas you know black reptilians albino reptilians red reptilians virus and you know green ones green muscular ones brownish ones so there's uh, they're small brown and so I see like the whole army of them. They want to push them all out and make it more like um, nature. See, lions have this uh, love for nature. There's something about the nature, even if we consider it fake, but it still has consciousness, like every tree, every flower. And um, they are naturally drawn to that. That's why they, they like big countries with lots of uh, na natural space which which Ukraine does fields fields and fields and fields forests uh, and they're more protective over nature they don't destroy it see because they are higher vibration than reptilians reptilians literally need to burn up forests destroy everything natural animals kill off everything alive because they cannot eat they don't feel good yeah, they're not they natural born killer so right. like cockadrice, they kill just because you move, they, not because they're angry. It's exactly. like um, in a soldier, when you tell the soldier to kill, they have to obey. They don't have yeah. to feel, oh, sorry, it's a child, oh, it's a mother. It's, no, no, kill. They have to kill. Right. Uh, this is why uh, soldier, everything is army and they are down the reptilians. But I still, th I still think um, that monarchy... I still need to understand if there are the lack of day in this physical world, they says they don't have any more any, you know, power or let's say the you know, they don't have any political decisions. What is the real truth? Is with the, the queen death the, the monarchy is, is over finished or they was still commanding, ordering, uh, you know, in the backstage. It's like they're keeping a space because every time you talk about them, I go on the ground, I see rooms, I see sacrifice, I see babies, I see children, I see altars. It's like they have the, uh, you know, like you have a good restaurant you can go to and it's on earth and it's under the palace. That's what it is hmm. like okay. that. Okay, A big uh, ba uh, banqueting. Uh, for everybody there. So the children that you see underground uh, are happy to be there or not? You know, it's it's like they are shifting. I see underground and you start telling me I want to like move my body in a funky way because it looks like it's a cleansing process because um, lions are there and they're pushing them out at this point there might be some agreement um that only him is gonna be here as a figure um, to keep a little cord attached to the vibrational frequency of uh, whatever struggles and sufferings we're still gonna have uh but it's it just it's non-functional it's it's like a puppet show you know they're not really functioning the lions are in scotland too scotland is high vibrational beautiful nature place lions love lions love to be on top in pretty high vibrations despite their mutation and despite mm -hmm. the fact that they like to take over territories uh to breed on them you know to get new genetic material to improve themselves to but they're not as evil as um that empire that um repto empire that is living draconians and reptilians that are about to leave and they're living in small it's you know there's a correlation in between ukraine uh getting back their territory and and how many uh, reptilians are leaving this particular matrix and going into their metaverse matrix? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
it's a percentage it's it's always like a weighing on both sides so it's equality otherwise it's gonna crash collapse and explode okay um i know that she doesn't want to talk with you i mean <laughs> she doesn't like to to express what she think about she doesn't have any choice just tell her what she going has to choice i'm not connected to her i can't force her mm -hmm. but no. you still can read what is in her mind i can't i, I mean can, i can't read around her she the thing is Aphesia, she doesn't really have an energy sphere it's like she's walking in some sort of um frequency tunnel that's how I see it. I don't see like, you know, you normally I see you in like your like a bubble of energy, but she's not like that. She just she's connected to the machine, the Gregory of her people, her beings. Wow. And she can be sucked in or, or pushed out like through the vacuum tube in that frequency band or whatever it's. OK, just check what if she knows what's going to happen now. Uh, for about 10 days, we're going to have a uh, uh, different, um, uh, you know, there will be mornings for 10 days, which will be uh, now after rituals her, for her. Rituals, yes. There will be uh, after her funeral, uh, the uh, Charles will be crowned as a king. There will be another banking holiday. Everything, every, every sport appointment, they are uh, postponed. Uh, even strikes, uh, transports, uh, key arts, uh, they were going to put the light on everybody in the media as to wear black. Uh, it's a kingdom in the end of the day, yeah? So what's going to happen now to, to, to Great Britain without the Queen? Because By she was 70 lot. years in charge. It's still uh, Great Britain will, will going to have a, the figure of a monarch or not, or is over. I'm still, I know I'm still asking, but it's something telling me this is a transition. If he's there, when you were a black, I, I right away like saw it, and this was just trying to say that right away, um, that it's like, it's like a cloak of death on you, and you're giving all that energy of death, feeding the low vibrational entities or feeding their own world of reptilians given more energy to metaverse it's like i'm blowing a beach ball at the beach you know making it bigger metaverse is going to get bigger from people mourning uh, for 10 days and doing all this it's it's ritualistic it's very ritualistic it's kind of like energy of death covering the world with the veil so, you know? and what go what what are going to they're going to achieve with these rituals is there will be any uh, more energy price? supplies no it's more energy supply for fake uh for the metaverse of reptilians that they are mm -hmm moving into it's kind of like you're moving from one house to another you need money to pay the movers and they need energy mm -hmm. and of course uh, i mean uh, the country need a figure of the monarchy because uh, we know um this is the reality i'm not uh, making up we know they leave a lot of tourism behind the the monarchy um you know presence official presence with the embassies public figure, I mean, they still, uh, they are loyals here of, of the monarchy, which is definitely is the, you know, like the masonry, yeah. Is they very close and they branded, they, they need to keep alive, they brand. It's like all the cars, different cars, Ferraris, they are lo little, but they're very, very, very expensive. Right on the point. They need to keep the legacy going because it, that means energetically they're still connected to this um, matrix and they can get energy. It's kind of like a pipe that pumping gas into your country. You know, they, you keep the pipe open so you can get the energy any anytime you need it or even souls. Mm -hmm. So um, there will be a new, let's say, I feel that there was or they already was making changes. Uh, don't forget that before, before the divorce was not allowed in a marriage, in a royal family. Uh, so even the mixed race, this is why something happened between uh, Meghan and she called them the, uh, the firm. 
Okay. So is she, Mega, she was right that they discriminated her. Is the queen she wanted discriminated her or was or it was just a game? It's all or, about the genetics. It's all about the DNA. See, there's free will will always exist. And some royal family, family members uh, kind of want to break off, right, from the uh, family or find somebody who's different, just a natural to breed with or genetically. Or, uh, and then there's somebody who doesn't belong to royal family, gets discriminated by the elders of the a royal family because they want specific DNA. They don't want to ruin their DNA because in the reptilians can use the bodies of the elders to walk in and out to basically exist in this world and command or get experience through their bodies. But if you just like from the different genetic group come into their family. They don't like you because they cannot manipulate you at a very deep level. They cannot walk into you and be walking for a while in your body because you have a soul and it's different mm -hmm. and it understands. It doesn't want it. It never what signed I, contract with them. If I interrupted you in that exactly moment, I would like to ask you why they allowed Harry to marry her because he, he left after. So is Ari is, is a real member of this family or not? Free will. I, he also has a DNA that uh, pre the dominant one is from Diane, Princess Diana. Okay. And she comes from different. She's, she's a humanoid, beautiful, tall form. She's dressed as a princess with a kind of like a crown and the whale on the back. And she's like, she's golden light. She's something from the sun, sun, mm -hmm. a group of souls. But he, he, he has DNA from his father as well. That's what is. <laughs> yeah, but her da hers is dominant. Okay. So he's a, a real. Like uh, is is his son anyway? So this is what we wanted to know, because if it wasn't, probably was already uh, you know out of. Uh, and anyway, we know that William will be the successor of Charles as a king. Mm. So I mean, the era of Womas is over, and yeah, I what's going to happen to Harry? Is still he as his uh, role, or is they going to? put him in the in a corner he wants to be stay away from them he knows something that he doesn't like he's more like her like he's analytical and he's um he would like to speak up but he cannot he lose his life something like okay. this it's it's this you know he knows a lot of secrets of the family that cannot be disclosed he wants nothing to do to deal with it, to do with it. I, I get this um, feeling from him. Mm -hmm. So another another question before we leave, because we are uh, 33 minutes, uh, we have to go both of me and you, but it was amazing, amazing stuff. We're going to do some other conversations next week, probably going to do every week a conversation. We're going to try to shorten it, our videos with the one uh, about investigating and then a conversation with uh, any being alive or, or passed. The last question to to uh, to read in the Queen uh, database that you are ne next and close is uh, the fact that they even stop uh, for a ten days. This, the you know the market, uh, the, you know the, the economy, uh, the bureau, the coal bureau will be stopped in in mm. uh, Great Britain. So that will going to lose billions, and uh, still with our economy, what we are, uh, they are really struggling because we we checked. I was, at the moment, it's a lot of inflation. So what going to happen? Uh, this is, is is everything is uh, is basically made it up to because they will come back and save that inflation because it doesn't make sense to stop even if it is the the the, the queen uh, death. Why you stop the economy? I mean, in a moment that, that is everything is just bad. What is the game here? I see papers. I see signed papers. 
I see that um, reptilians in living, they're still doing something and there's some something was signed before in this matrix uh, they even lines understand it cannot see it's kind of like a nuclear plant you cannot just turn it off altogether it would explode even lines understand if everything goes into everything nice and positive rainbows and unicorns you know it's just gonna close up like a shell a seashell it, the matrix going to close up and not exist anymore. So therefore, they here have to keep going the uh, negative narratives too, and the you know when bad economy kind of like narrative. So they just um, plus if people work, they give energy to work. They can give attention to something else. If everything shut down, the whole energy 100% goes to this queen idea. Everybody thinks about one thing. It's like a massive amount of people think of the same thing in some sort of prayer or meditation and all the huge energy goes to them, to that to pipe to 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 the mag metaverse to the uh, whatever they're building there to their spaceships fuel laboratories cloning facilities everything you know i get a huge boost from it that way yeah it's it's just it's like they are recharging <laughs> a fueling mm -hmm. i Instead see like a spinning wheels like we are it's a fake uh, kind of like um, ground with trees on top, but underneath us, there's like um, like metallic, you know, like a watch when you open it, like when you were a child to look inside how it works, like old mechanical watches. There's lots of wheels and they're all connected and they're all spinning in different directions and that creates electromagnetic field and that creates a set of rules that we call the laws of physics um, to manipulate us. And then uh, those wheels are also um, uh, those devices uh, that, that they use for manipulating the energetic fields of people all around the world. So colliders or whatever they're called. Some machines, some devices, very powerful. So they separate us from inner earth, which is, you know, there's a lot of pockets of, I see it's like cities inside and they're like gold and white and beautiful and high technology and stuff right it kind of and they are like um empty there's no nobody's there i don't see anybody but it's ready for us we can live there too we can actually flip it up and have those cities go up and be above under the sun you know what i mean mm -hmm. we can do amazing stuff if we just break the system of colliders that keeps us on this metallic play-doh of frequencies that um, make us feel sick make us think the wrong stuff make us focus on the wrong things and um so uh, if they couldn't manipulate us they would be mm -hmm. that would be just um you know the cage is open birds are living <laughs> that would be us. Okay. Uh, can you check where is the queen is going now? Is she will going to stay to her funeral, or she just she doesn't care, or she's just going uh, where the the portal is waiting for her. She's gonna be standing by just check, this. Please. She's gonna be walking around, uh, talking to souls of uh, people, children, trying to convince them to go with her. Some of them will and separate from the physical body, go with her. It's like, you know, like, it's like she's harvest, she's gonna be harvesting souls through those rituals and through those saying goodbye to the queen and everything. Some people are gonna be so, I see some people really in tears and I see how the, the energetic part separates from the physical and she holds them by hand and they're walking mm -hmm. together. Yeah, she's basically having already a contract with them. She's making a contract because they will. She will come then when they eventually when they, they pass away. Uh, so, uh, but basically, she will going to uh, leave this, uh, uh, let's say, uh, container in the portal. So, in the portal there was another container. Who was the container? The Victoria or the dad? 
Did I want the clock where I saw before? There's tons of pipes, energetic pipes, actually. It's not only one connected to the palace. And they go all go back and forth as if they are still living in the palace. But it's really a freaky place to be, Ephesia. It's very low vibrational. It's like you feel ghosts around, but you don't see them type mm -hmm. thing. And it's, yeah. it's just their space. It's like when you at a soul level create a universe for yourself that's your home and for them that's their home even after death mm -hmm. they can come anytime so who's the who's the uh, you know uh, the um, the bouncer in the door they would choose would they choose as a sagoma as a figurine because it's like you put a bouncer yeah in a nightclub Mm -hmm. I mean, you see this night. Uh, this guy usually is muscly. They don't even you don't even remember the face of the bouncer. Yeah, it's like a shadow, like you said, Sagoma. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's like a statue, you know. Who they choose? Mm -hmm. But she, she will, she will give it her body as a figurine, you know, like a a picture that to put in the wall. So they believe that it's the oldest family, the oldest. Mm, a um, royal family in the world gives them power and energy of belief coming from people's belief. That's why they have to keep it going, even if it's all fake and they just keep changing. But they're losing their power. I feel like there's going to be more unity of souls. And at a soul level, we're all going to understand that we are individuals, but we work as one vibrational field and we can work together as one vibrational field. Mm -hmm. at the same time being individual so what was going to happen with the other monarchies around the world i know the the british was the big the biggest one the the, the main one we have in spain we have the king uh we have in sweden uh we have in france but they are little or they are just a little shadow uh and then we have in other countries so w w w there will be like a reunion a big ritual with the other uh Rains. It's like hierarchical kind of type that they can are uh, hoping to um, see. They're in constant battle with each other in between those alien groups. So they need to keep religion going. They need to keep monarchies going. So for people automatically, when you know somebody is royal, better than you, higher than you and controls the world, you always feel like a slave to them and all also kind of feel like they're better than you it's a deep ingrained um through the genetics that they ingrained into our physical bodies you know feeling um so you don't feel like you have the right to say the right to act they somebody's always watching you and that the whole system is supposed to pressure you on your head like a press mm -hmm. uh, if they get rid of it we would feel totally all of a sudden, we could recover our imagination, you know, and build eco villages all around, not being given tax money or whatever energy with the tax money to the queens and kings of the world and watching them like celebrity is kind of the same idea. Somebody's bigger, better, higher, smarter, wiser than you. You just, I'm just a little one. You know, they see how they uh, they did that to Russian people. They all say, I'm just a regular person on the street. I don't do it. I, I didn't vote for Putin. I didn't do anything. But there's a collective responsibility on those people too. And it's energetically very strong collective responsibility, uh, unfortunately for them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's because they're swimming in this, because by being silent, in, in most cases, you know, they kind of said, yes, it's fine, you know. And it's also they play, there's a big uh, underground subconscious component because this country was always like a country of slaves. It's even more slaves than the matrix slaves in other countries. You know, in other countries, you still have some rights, at least, you know, they're on the surface. You can't choose a lot of things for yourself, and speak up, but there is like a totally a slave. And that's why, and it's a period of time. There were periods of time when they could have rebelled if they only got all together, you know, and that only got all together because now it's useless. If you 
a part, you know, a party of 20 people would all end up in prison if they stand up against the regime. It doesn't make sense to do that anymore. It's like you lost a chance. Mm, but I think humanity has a chance now to dominate. Mm, and you know, you know what? It's like uh, souls that I see only like 11.2 percent that are completely awakened like an open flower. They they opened up a, a portal for themselves to actually live without any problems from this world. Solely because they believe in themselves and they by believing in themselves, they created that portal and they opened it by the thought. By belief. We all together opened it for ourselves so we can leave. Those who doubt that they can leave, they'll have a lot of obstacles on the way. Mm, yeah, we, we know that. It's definitely, it's, they are still not, uh, can feel or can uh, try to, to get away. It's like they're sedated, you know. They have a big, big, uh, you know, uh, even uh, fluid inside that not allowed to wake up. So, you know, when you take the pills to sleep because you struggle with insomnia, but this is like liquid. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so thank you so much, darling. You can come back with us now and fantastic journey again. And yes, uh, um, we say that anyway, there is particular days and uh, yes, we come back next week with another conversation in the in the portal yeah so we're going to to see who's the next sponsor or uh people or people that uh they had a, a very very important role here so we're going to speak with even with the spirit especially if they are uh, kept in captivity we we have to don't forget what's happened to farange mm. uh snowden that the, uh, the you know some individual that they try to open up uh, a pandora vase and then uh, it was completely um, sabotaged by, you know, uh, fake uh, truthers. Yeah. So next week, thank you so much. Stay okay, with thank me. you. Thanks. See you.